Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2022 Chinese action movie called A Man Called Hero. The movie begins with a group of ninjas, called Five Element Ninjas, who attack Shifu Jin Ao's place. Each one of them masters one of the elements of water, soil, fire, metal, and wood. Jin Ao's two disciples, Hua Yingxiang, also called Hero, and a masked ghost servant, attempt to defend the place. The ninjas aim to steal the scroll of Chinese pride, a highly skilled kung fu technique. Hero is almost killed by one of the ninjas, but another ninja, Mew, forbids her, reminding her that they are only stealing the scroll, not killing people. They succeed in stealing the scroll, only for Wu Di, their master, to discover that it does not contain the kung fu technique. Jin Ao, casually eating chicken, informs his disciples that the technique is not contained in the scrolls, but can only be passed down by him to someone he deems worthy. After the attack, Hero is walking in the open market with his wife, Jiu. They encounter an old blind beggar who sings about Hero's destiny. He tells them that he is destined to be an unlucky star, bringing bad fortune to his teacher and families. Hero's loyal servant, Sheng, dislikes the beggar and drives him away. Hero tries not to think too much of the song. Suddenly, Ghost Servant comes to him, informing him about another attack at Jin Ao's place. They quickly help Jin Ao who receives an unwelcome guest, Woody himself. Woody is disappointed as their former Shifu would not grant the Chinese pride to him because he is Japanese. He summons a giant to attack Jin Ao, but being far more skillful than him, Jin Ao calmly defends himself with ease. Badly hurt, Woody retreats. However, it is discovered that Jin Ao has also been seriously hurt. Knowing he does not have much time, he intends on passing the Chinese pride to Hiro. While passing the knowledge, he projects Hiro out of his physical body, allowing him to read the Chinese pride technique projected around him in the spiritual realm. However, after that, Hiro sees flashbacks of his past as well as the foretelling of his grim future. After that, Jin Ao dies. Sometime later, Hiro is informed that his parents' residence has been attacked. He learns that the five element ninjas have killed his parents to draw him out so they can obtain the Chinese pride. Facing the attack, Hiro barely makes it until he is saved by Ghost Servant. He suggests Hiro lay low in Thailand and take his time to practice the Chinese pride until he can master it and use it against the five elements. Sheng arranges the departure for Hiro and his pregnant wife to Thailand tomorrow. Meanwhile, Woody is still deeply insulted after being defeated by Jin Ao and told that he was not worthy to become a samurai. Knowing from the ninjas that Hiro escaped, his wrath takes control of him, accidentally killing his son and wife. He instructs them to find Hiro before he can master the Chinese pride, or Hiro will be too powerful for all of them to defeat. Arriving in Thailand, Hiro helps defend a Chinese worker who is beaten by an American man. The boss of the American acknowledges his kung fu skills and offers him a job guarding a rock quarry. Looking around the quarry, Hiro learns that the Chinese workers there are treated unfairly, thus he uses his kung fu and mystic skills to get rid of the Americans. When his strength wears off, he is saved by a group of bandits, which turn out to be subordinates of Yuan Wu, a powerful Chinese in Thailand and also a friend of the ghost servant. Wu offers Hiro and his family to live in his building and takes good care of him. The Chinese workers now officially label him a hero and praise him. He writes about his condition to ghost servant, as well as attaching a family photo of him and his wife. While reading the letter, ghost servant is distracted by a sound, leaving it on the table. One of the five element ninjas, Kim, who has been secretly stalking him, reads the letter and deciphers Hero's location. He has already fled when Ghost Servant comes back. The five element ninjas arrive at Yuan Wu's building where Hero and his wife live. A battle ensues between Hero and the ninjas. Hero seems to have upgraded his skills as he causes a lot of trouble for the ninjas. Ghost Servant arrives at the battle scene just in time to give back up. Kim is almost killed but he uses Mew's body to shield himself from Hero's attacks, thus he escapes. The badly hurt Mew is left behind. Hero, remembering that Mew saved his life earlier by deciding not to kill him, decides to return the favor and takes her to Wu's building. Mew says she needs to get back, to which Hero does not forbid, but she is surprised to see Hero entering his room later while she is packing her things and initiating an affair with her. However, in the morning, Mew gets heartbroken as she sees Hero assisting his wife. Enraged with envy, she goes back to the ninjas, intending to attack Hero as revenge. Kim assures her that they will successfully kill Hero this time. One of the ninjas initiates a fire in the storage rooms of Wu's building, making everyone evacuate. At the same time, Ju feels she will give labor to her children. 
Hiro and Shung wait impatiently outside of her room but are forced to help the people evacuate. Kim attacks Yuan Wu and takes his appearance to fool Hiro. Ju gives birth to a set of twins, a boy and a girl, the latter bearing a birthmark on her lower chin. Kim, disguised as Yuan Wu, comes to Ju's room to congratulate the family on the twins, then takes one of them and instructs Hiro to evacuate his wife as well. However, Ju dies shortly after, sending Hiro into deep grief. He is much more shocked to learn that one of his children has been taken by Yuan Wu's doppelganger. The surviving five elements ninjas, including Mew, regroup after the attack. Mew sees Kim holding one of Hiro's babies, then she realizes his intention to blackmail Hiro using this child. Furthermore, she also realizes that the one having an affair with her was not the real Hiro, but Kim in disguise, so she will become motivated to hate and attack Hiro. She attempts to take the child from Kim and paralyzes his limb, but fails. Meanwhile, Woody asks to be met with Hiro. At Ju's funeral, Hiro, Shung, and Ghost's servant are mourning. Hiro acknowledges his destiny to be the unlucky star, as his wife is now gone and one of his children is probably gone as well. He instructs Shung to take good care of his son while he isolates himself to learn the Chinese pride for 20 years. He promises to meet his son on the night of the autumn festival, 20 years later. Suddenly, Woody arrives and Hiro still cannot match his powers. Ghost's servant helps him escape. Later, Hiro works hard every day to learn the Chinese pride, accompanied by Ghost's servant. As he grows up, Jiang's Ayong, Hiro's son, behaves just like his father, always standing up when Chinese people are treated poorly. He also learns Kung Fu. Sheng regularly writes letters to inform Jiang Ziyong's condition to his father. Finally, the night of the autumn festival arrives and Jiang Ziyong is really excited to meet his father. However, Ghost's servant informs him that Hiro may not arrive as he still has some matters to be taken care of. The five elements, now rebranded as the Black Dragon, initiate a riot to draw Jiang Ziyong, Wu, Sheng, and Ghost's servant out so Hiro will come to save them. The ninjas only consist of Kim, the water ninja, and another mysterious girl, as all other members have been defeated in previous encounters with Hiro. When Jiang Ziyong, Wu, Sheng, and Ghost's servant are cornered from all sides, Hiro finally appears, using his powers to deflect bullets aimed at his son and companions. He defeats the water ninja and Kim easily using his kung fu skills. Wu sees the unconscious ninja girl and almost kills him, but Hiro halts him and examines the birthmark on the girl's lower chin. He discovers that she is her long-lost daughter, Chong Tian. Hiro takes her to be treated in Wu's building, then distances himself again from his family, knowing that Wu Di will arrive for their ultimate battle. After regaining consciousness, Chong Tian still antagonizes her helpers and attempts to go back to Wu Di, but Ghost Servant explains the truth. At first, she does not believe that she is the daughter of the famous Chinese hero, as Kim told her that she has been an orphan since birth. However, coming back to Wu Di, he confirms the story and admits that he only uses her as bait to draw Hero out, then restrains her. Wu Di exclaims in front of Wu's building that he is Hero's daughter, so Hero better come out and battle him. Yuan Wu and his men, including Jiang Ziyong, try to fight him, but to no avail. Now, Woody has both of Hiro's children, but just as he is about to kill them, Mu shows up and attempts to restrain him. She says that as long as she is alive, Woody cannot lay his fingers on Hiro's children. Mu's powers are enough to distract Woody for some time, but she eventually cannot match him and is defeated. During her last breaths, Hiro comes to comfort her. Finally ready to face Woody, Hiro prepares himself while Woody uses a three-headed snake giant to fight for him. Hiro defeats the creature easily. Next, they engage in a sword fight, but Hiro's wooden sword is no match for Wu Dai's katana. With his sword broken and himself badly hurt, Hiro is almost hopeless as Wu Di summons another giant to finish him, but then his Shifu, Jin Ao, appears, telling him that anything can be fought with the power of love. Hiro then acknowledges the love and support he has received, then projects an energy sword from his fingers. That sword hurts Wu Di badly until he admits defeat. Hiro tells him that as long as he is full of hatred, he cannot fully master the Chinese pride. After the battle, Hiro is determined to venture on his own again, defending the Chinese people from unjust treatment. Although his children beg for him to stay, he already made up his mind, then leaves. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.